a focus on payday lending. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Philadelphia City Councilwoman Marion Tasco. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. This is an, uh, an issue where you've recently introduced a resolution at the city level, but this is a, an issue that we're talking about that's a statewide issue. Talk to us about payday lending and some of the concerns that you have related to the issue. Well, we've been engaged in the whole issue of payday lending, predatory lending for a number of years in city council. While we don't have a voice in terms of the regulation of the issue, uh, we have a voice to let the state legislature know how we feel about their legislation and how it would impact on our citizens in Philadelphia. Now, currently, talk to us a little bit about where this stands in the Commonwealth. Payday lending, payday loans, they're currently illegal in Pennsylvania? They're currently illegal in Pennsylvania, and uh, we don't want them back. And uh, right now, the bill in Harrisburg would allow uh, the payday lenders to open shop again in, in Pennsylvania. Now, are constituents of yours or residents throughout the Commonwealth potentially going across state lines and actually engaging in payday lending, payday loans, or potentially even engaging in this activity online because there are services that will do this online? Well, the online payday lending is illegal in Pennsylvania. So if a company engages a, one of our citizens in a payday loan online, then the state banking department can go after that company. and uh, even even our local community legal services can go after that company. So it uh, it uh, it's not. Uh, we don't know how many people may be engaging and going across state lines to engage in payday lending. Um, it's. Uh, more uh, available if the shop is in the neighborhood, but I don't know if we have a wholesale massive onslaught of people going out of state for payday lo loans. Uh, part of the argument, though, could be seen potentially as a consumer protection issue to maybe bring payday lending back to Pennsylvania. Part of the argument would be that if it was legalized again, that maybe it could protect people in some way that the state could regulate it if people are going across state lines or engaging in this online. But you say that's not necessarily the case. Well, I think if they believe that it could be regulated, they wouldn't have uh, passed legislation to get rid of them, uh, period. So I, there, there needs to be some way for uh, uh, an individual to access cash uh, alone. But the payday lending issue uh, way is not the way. The fees are high, the interests are high, and you never seem to get out of the debt. And that is not good for someone who might need an emergency loan, but it ends up being an ongoing loan that really uh, devastates them financially. And you say this could be particularly difficult uh, for lower income individuals that may be living paycheck to paycheck to rely on payday lending or predatory lending, uh, as you've said. What are some of your concerns related to that? And what are some of the reasons that you've put forward this resolution? Well, really, I wanted the state legislators to know and the sponsor to know that we in Philadelphia have been engaged a whole issue of predatory lending uh, since uh, 2000. And if they had listened to us and not preempted legislation we passed, we might not have been in this financial boondoggle with the housing market failing because all of those loans were basically predatory loans. So anytime you see some, uh, a loan that is going to take advantage of an individual, you want to speak up and speak out and then try and find a way to help them. Um, Low-income people or anyone who doesn't have access to capital needs probably need some short-term help for an, uh, an emergency, and we need to look at how we do that without causing them uh, high interest fees and, uh, and rates. And just a few seconds left, but you say the purpose of this resolution, the City Council resolution right now, is to try and uh, let Harrisburg know your thoughts and some of the thoughts of City Council. Yes, one of the roles we have as council members is to say collectively 17 members of council don't like your legislation or we do like your legislation. We don't have jurisdiction over the issue in that manner with the state, but we can let our voices be heard on behalf of our constituents. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much. We've been talking with Councilwoman Marion Tasco. I'm Jill Horner.